Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. Today is the last day of the trip and I'm gonna be spending the entire day in Edinburgh. But I'm gonna be taking it easy, I will not be running around. I'm just gonna go to places at my own pace. I started the day very late because it was raining very heavily in the morning. It's almost evening now. But uh, first up, we are gonna go to the Edinburgh castle because it's gonna close in another hour. And we have arrived at the Edinburgh castle. I saw the castle in Forza Horizon 4 and ever since I've wanted to visit the castle. So I arrived here at 3.30 thinking that it's gonna be open till 5. At least that's what Google showed me. But they said that uh, it closes at 3.30. So I cannot go inside. I'll have to come here some other day. But anyway, I got to see the castle from outside. So it's not a total loss. Moreover, you have some great views of the city from here for which you don't need a ticket. Let's get some ice cream at least to cheer ourselves up. I'm gonna eat this while drowning in my own tears and admiring the views. So I'm gonna try to find an Italian restaurant now because I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten anything since morning. And that is the University of Edinburgh. Even the universities look so cool here. I swear, my university didn't look one tenth as cool as this. So I'm standing in front of University of Edinburgh and the views I'm getting from this place are absolutely magnificent. I'm able to see the entire city from here. This is how the residential spaces look here. The city has such interesting architecture. The roads are all cobblestone. The buildings all look very old and have a rustic feel to them. The weather changes so quickly here. It was so sunny and now it looks like it's gonna rain very hard. I thought those kind of telephone booths were exclusive to London, but apparently not. So there are a lot of restaurants here, but I'm unable to pick one. Even the hotels here look like castles. So I think I found an Italian restaurant. It's called Bella Italia. I'm going to check it out. I decided to sit in Bella Italia. I have a great view of the action outside and it's raining very heavily. So thank God we are seated now. So this is a menu. Uh, I had pizza yesterday, so I'm thinking of having either a pasta or a risotto or a lasagna. Hmm. I decided to order a bruschetta, a vegetarian risotto and a strawberry and lemonade mocktail. Let's see how it is. So the bruschetta and the mocktail has arrived. Looks so fancy. They used that to put pepper on the bruschetta. And they said it was for social distancing purposes, which I found very funny. So I'm done with the bruschetta and now the risotto is here. Buon appetito. I'm done with my meal. It was a good meal. And now let's explore further. And here's a traditional Scottish shop. Should we get a cap or some bagpipes? That reminds me of Ross playing bagpipes in Friends. My sister is already married, so I can't play the bagpipes at her marriage now. But, hmm. <laughs> the city is filled with such whiskey and other alcohol shops. I'm so glad I'm not driving in Edinburgh. Yesterday I drove in the city and it was so confusing. The GPS said to take a left turn, but there was no left turn. And good luck with finding a parking spot here. It's almost impossible. So yeah, I'm gonna take back my comment where I said that I should be able to drive easily in Scotland if I can drive in India. I mean, 
driving in the northern parts of Scotland was quite easy, but in the cities and more urban areas, yeah, good luck with that. Gothic architecture everywhere. And this is the Edinburgh Waverley Station from where we're gonna catch a train to London tomorrow. So this is the famous Scott Monument. Apparently there are 287 steps to the top and you can climb all the way to the top. But I'm not sure if it's open to public right now. So time for an honest admission. Up till now I was really glad that I was doing the entire trip solo. But in Edinburgh I'm seeing everybody hanging out in groups laughing and having fun and I feel like if I was with a group I probably would have had more fun just something that I was thinking about right now the Scottish National Gallery like everything else I'm sure even this is closed so I'm not even gonna go there and see if it's open and this is by far the best view of the Edinburgh Castle I've got till now So I'm beginning to feel a bit cold now. So I'm gonna head to my hotel and put on more layers. Right, so I went back to my hotel room and added some layers and I'm feeling much warmer. I got a message from my friend Anna and she told me to go and visit the Calton Hill, which is apparently a must see spot in Edinburgh. So I'm heading there. And we have arrived. There seem to be a proper party going on here. So these are the views from the Calton Hill. I think this is the hangout spot for all university students in Edinburgh because I'm seeing only college students now hanging around here and now the city is beginning to light up yes the city at night looks completely different and so gorgeous and this is the Edinburgh tram that I wanted to ride but I couldn't. Hopefully next time. And now I'm in Rose Street which is one of the most popular streets in Edinburgh. <laughs> uh, filled with restaurants and pubs and in fact I have decided to do a takeaway from this place Do Pizza. So this is going to be my dinner. This, this is how it looks in case you guys are wondering. I'm going to walk to the main road to give you one last view of the Edinburgh castle because it looks really good at night. So I thought before ending the vlog, I'll give you one last view of the Edinburgh castle. It looks quite amazing at night obviously the camera is not going to do justice to it and especially my camera is not good at night but anyway so that would be all from me it was a fantastic trip there were so many new experiences i met so many new people and i'm gonna go back with so many memories i have my train to london first thing tomorrow morning but for now, I have a takeaway pizza that I'm going to enjoy in my hotel room. So that's going to be it for now. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Cheers. Bye.